we just had both Sam Altman and a specific MIT lab come out saying that AI was, frankly, in a rational exuberance and it wasn't paying off the way it should. We're going to talk to you about whether or not we think their comments are justified or are just a bump in a long road higher. Today on the Ultimate Authority. Let's yeah, talk rooting since the favorite pastime. So, let me just say, earning 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 ear
remember, Sam might be missing the forest from the trees here in terms of his focus. But now, Joel, to your point, let's talk about MIT's study. And the funniest thing to me, to your point, that the new 95% thing was so ludicrous. But the thing that was most laughable was the $30 billion number. Anybody who has been tracking this knows that's outlandish. Hyperscalers alone, right? Everybody, this is the big five. This is Microsoft, Alphabet, um, Amazon, Meta, and Oracle alone have spent more than $100 billion in R&D, mostly focused on AI in the last year, let alone what they've been spending on data centers. And, right, Joel, and this, this everybody for context is when we look at it from our uniform accounting perspective. And Joel, I think that this would be a good thing for you to speak to. Most importantly, when we look at our uniform accounting data, doesn't exactly look like they're destroying value either, does it? Well, if they're spending, and so first off, yeah, I might is saying, we looked at what is about $30 billion of investments in AI. That is a gross understatement of the investments in AI that are being spent. So that suggests their sample, I'm not saying they didn't have a good sample survey, but it, was a, it, was, it doesn't represent the population. The second thing about their sampling is they said of this $30 billion, they focused on what they called integrated AI pilots. Now, what they're saying was companies that were spending money trying to build some new AI agent system inside the company coupled with their own tools. Let me say what that did not include. It did not include AI just automating routine tasks, which everybody on the planet is betting from. It did not include AI helping enhance decision making, which every company. It did not include where AI drove efficiencies in supply chain or logistics. It did not include the creative and knowledge work where generative AI is helping, right, whether it's Copilot or ChatGPT or Grok or whatever, all the image software. They didn't include any of that. So when they did their survey, they weren't asking about all these other areas that have a massive, massive right. AI improvements at every company, right? So they niche. were talking about this one little sliver that happens to be what that MIT lab suggests companies should do, which is not spend that money on their own internal AI pilots, but do something a bit more decentralized and rely on partners or whatever to build it. And that might be right, but that is not AI. It is such a tiny, tiny sliver of AI that they looked at and said mm -hmm. wasn't valuable. And this is why, you know, we look at the hyperscalers, the uniform earnings, not just of the hyperscalers, meaning the big AI driver companies, which is that profits under uniform earnings, right? You can't use gap earnings for this because gap horribly mistreats R&D and CapEx and a number of other things in terms of understanding what the real investment is. When we look at the real investment and their earnings on that investment, it is off the charts incredible. Even when we just look at the five companies, but if we look at the S&P, in general, not just the S&P 500, the S&P 1500, we see a 9% CAGR increase in uniform earnings year after year, including all the AI investments that have been made in the last two, three years. So in general, companies are getting a lot more profitable. We believe AI is the reason for it. And this MIT study has people jumping up and down screaming, oh, no, AI is not valuable. Like, no, they were focused on such a tiny little sliver of the AI world as opposed to the total impact of AI um, and uh, and that's why we're saying we're calling foul not on the MIT study itself, but the headlines that the MIT yes. study is getting, which are grossly mm -hmm. overstating what's really happening. Exactly, and you know, just to pull this together, I mean, again, most of the earnings growth that happened for the hyperscalers in 2024, for instance, which there was almost 80 billion dollars worth, came from more spending from customers on AI. And you talk about the investment trends we're seeing that are driving earnings growth in the U.S., a huge driver is AI. And for us to continue that 9% compounding rate, but I think, Joel, the biggest thing here is when we talk about Altman's statement of irrational exuberance, just to put in perspective, everybody, again, Joel, to your point, 9% kegger, 9% compound annual growth rate that we are seeing in true cleaned up once we remove all the accounting distortions, uniform earnings. Well, that last bar there, the white bar, that's what at the current total aggregate market cap, right, for the S&P 500, a, you know, 6,400 6, level or whatever else you want to say, um, that's what the market is expecting earnings to be over to reach over the next, call it three to five years. Well, to put that in perspective, what the market is paying for is a 7% compound annual growth rate. So the market is not irrationally exuberant. U.S. corporates, thanks to things like AI, are driving 9% uniform earnings growth, and the market's only paying for 7%. So there's lots of room for growth. And that's why when we look at Altman's speech, just like Greenspan's, we'd say, oh, 
well, let's not forget where this stock market can go as the true value of AI of any technological adoption cycle like this gets unlocked. Everybody, so if you want to watch in terms of seeing whether or not this is going to keep on playing out, keep on tuning into the Altimetry Authority where we will keep on talking about the big ideas like AI. And if you like this, hit the like and subscribe button and come back for next time. Thanks, everybody.